What it do, homies? It's your boy, Dave, and I'm back today. We back with some more Sabaton. This time we checking out the song Dreadnought. Dreadnought, okay? And it looks like this is the song that's, uh, or Dreadnought is dedicated to the massive battleship class and the naval conflict at Jutland, okay? So let's go ahead and learn some more about this. It's time to shut up and turn it up. Or is it pronounced Jutland? I never know. <laughs> A lot of you told me that this is your favorite, your favorite chorus. This and the Hellfire one. very interesting way how they started the song right it almost kind of reminded me of uh jaws where it goes like duh, duh, and it kind of has those pauses in there and then the music proceeds to you know get gradual 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 and still it starts bringing in a little bit more musical elements right almost kind of to symbolize you know the danger of this of, of this ship you know what i mean or of, of the class of ships and what they were uh of course capable of total destruction and of course with that kind of slow movement at the beginning almost kind of gives a uh, a little nod to the fact that they were pretty slow moving, right? Because they're, they're weight, tons and tons of weight armed with a, a lot of artillery. And uh, you don't want one of these things to get close to you. I am interested in what its range was. So it's a good intro. Good intro. The shadow moves across the water in pursuit. It splits the waves, commands the sea. So interesting, it said fears not itself. So I believe that these heavy warships were also armed to the teeth, right? So they're almost kind of like a berserker in a sense where they can take they can take as much firepower as they can dish out. And it's probably what made it even more dangerous. Okay, I can see how this is one of y'all. I can see how this is y'all favorite right here. I love the way that it's just got that slow cadence, right? They are taking everything that that uh that this ship is about, right? Even to the the slow cadence to the drums is doom, 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 right? Because when these things fire, they fire very powerful stuff, you know. I'm pretty sure they got machine guns and everything, but they fire like these cannons and everything. So I love to see that type of representation musically as well to the chorus, just just kind of brooding. <laughs> Okay, yo, this will be kind of hard kind of finding my absolute favorite song when they keep releasing good stuff back to back like this. <laughs> Vocals doing all kinds of work too. Go again, y'all. You know what's very interesting? The the melody that's going on in the background is kind of that's 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 something I would generally hear when they're talking about like stuff that like sparkle or whatnot, but also it could be looked at as a sense of, 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 of wonder, right? 
which this class of ship was for whatever it was able to do. You know, like I said, you would want these things to hit you and the things they were capable of, even though it moved slow, was terrifying, but wonderful, I guess, in like science and, you know, Navy advancement for technology and everything. That's a very interesting texture that they have behind this chorus going with the guitar. <laughs> There's also that, right? The now that I'm hearing this immortalized, right? Almost kind of giving it like a sense of a, a deity. Wonder. Yeah. There it is. Kind of like that Jaws kind of. Rhythm, the time signature change too within the song. The it's not necessarily unusual, but somebody who you know who's used to listening to four four time signature might find that a little unusual, uh, which also kind of serves to the point of the dreadnought, right? Which is unusual thing to be on the sea that massive with that many guns. You guys hear kind of the cadence of the drums and the guitars, right? They're just keeping it steady. We think of this big, think of like a big, huge giant just walking on land, right? They ain't walking fast. They, they feed five full fumming out here. I also notice as a good, as a solo came on, we didn't get a whole lot of shreddage again, trying to carry that whole entire emphasis, emphasis of slow and powerful. I think for the most part, we just got some quarter notes, some quarter notes, maybe some half notes, and maybe even some eighth notes with a couple of triplets in there, but we didn't get like super massive shredding, right? Something like that wouldn't necessarily make sense because these were slow and powerful moving ships. I love that, man. This is, I tell you guys all the time, this is the type of, the, these musical concepts and theories that they put into their music is what makes the whole thing just so amazing to listen to. The North Sea has drawn the near. The fleets of the high seas approach. A contest of tides has commenced. Sometimes I like to think about like, like really try to dissect what makes like a really, really cool, like a chorus really kind of, kind of pop. And I think this part right here is immortalized over time. Their legend will rise. Like that part right there that just moves right on into the next kind of verse. It just makes it so singable. And it's the type of stuff that just kind of gets in your head, right? The kind of notes and placements that they start singing. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing stuff. Same with they started. Nice. Man, I'm telling you, I'm so, I'm so happy to have stumbled upon Sabaton when I did. I honestly don't even know what I know. Um, what was it? Steel Commander. That was my first reaction to their music. Um, I don't know if that came by Patreon request or if that came by me just randomly deciding or probably for one of you guys in the comments. 
But I'm so glad I discovered them. Man, imagine missing out on all this good music. Just imagine. Oh, man, what a shame. <laughs> all right, y'all. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.